Greetings, Techno Dreamers. Today, we're delving deep into the world of Elon Musk and his ambitious venture, The Boring Company. We have substantial evidence that The Boring Company has made significant technological strides in tunneling, potentially reshaping its destiny. We'll explore their updated plans and the enduring bureaucratic challenges they face. So, what's been happening in The Boring Company over the last few months? Let's delve into it. In a positive turn of events, the Boring Company secured unanimous approval from the local city council for an expansion of the Las Vegas Tunnel Network. This green light paves the way for the construction of an extensive underground network comprising 68 miles of tunnels and 81 stations. The initial focus of this expansion centers around the downtown core of Las Vegas. While the existing Vegas Loop already connects three stations near the Las Vegas Convention Center, the expansion aims to connect more distant areas, transforming it into a comprehensive transit system for the city's residents, not just a tourist attraction. The Vegas Loop has been operational for over two years, transporting over 1.2 million passengers. It has demonstrated impressive capabilities, with a peak daily capacity of 32,000 riders. Additional connections to resorts and luxury hotels are under construction. Investor Warren Redlick sees a bright future for the boring company, projecting a potential valuation of $1 trillion by 2030 and a public offering by 2028. He envisions an extensive tunnel network with over 10,000 miles in the next decade eventually connecting North America to Asia via the Bering Strait by 2040 revolutionizing cargo shipping. What's noteworthy is that Elon Musk himself has endorsed this vision, indicating that it's technologically possible. However, he highlights the significant challenge of obtaining permits, citing the increasing difficulties in obtaining construction approvals in North America and Europe. Host the Boring Company's latest tunnel boring machine, the Proof Rock 3, has entered the testing phase, aiming for continuous mining operations and a sub-24 hour launch time. These improvements promise to reduce downtime, a crucial step towards achieving the goal of digging seven miles of tunnel in a single day essential development is the transition to hexagonal tunnel segments, enabling continuous mining. While they have advantages, such as reducing costs and complexity. They must also be thicker and stronger to handle increased load and prevent water ingress. The rapid progress of the Boring Company's projects in Texas has raised environmental concerns, leading to violations and regulatory scrutiny. Political residents and officials worry about the environmental impact of this fast-paced construction. Interestingly, We've learned of a proposal in Austin, Texas, where venture capitalist Joe Lonsdale suggested a citywide tunnel system similar to Las Vegas. While the city didn't pursue the project, it could be indicative of a trend where private investors drive initial projects before cities commit. The Boring Company's journey is one of technological innovation and ambition. Their vision for a vast underground transit network could reshape urban transportation but the road is fraught with bureaucratic hurdles and environmental concerns. As the boring company races towards the future, we'll be here to keep you informed. If you found this exploration of the boring company's latest developments intriguing, don't forget to support us by giving this video a thumbs up. It helps us reach more tech enthusiasts like you. For more in-depth tech insights, subscribe to TechnoDreamers. Until next time, stay curious, techno dreamers.